All right, people, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here and you enjoy the content, give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. It really does help out the channel and the YouTube algorithm. Today, I'll be talking to you about stuttering and a job interview. Let's get started. Of all the people in this world, why am I talking to you about stuttering in a job interview? Simply because I stutter. And in job interviews, I and you have to talk to people. Yes, I'll be honest with you. Interviews cause anxiety. When anxiety goes up, even if you don't stutter, stuttering also goes up. If you're enjoying the video, give me a thumbs up too. We first have to understand what causes anxiety. I'm not talking about the people that have clinical anxiety. I'm just talking about in general, what causes anxiety. Comfort. How comfortable are you? Think about this. You are 18 years old. Just got a brand new car and you're driving down the street going 40 over and the cops pull you over and they start talking to you and you start stuttering and stumbling and you got s s sweat falling down your face and you look all kinds of crazy. Anxiety has gone up, stuttering has also gone up. You are uncomfortable because the cops pulled you over and you think you're probably going to jail and how do I explain this to the parents? Yes, that is based on a true story. But at the same time, think about it. If you are at the bar hanging out with all the homies and you've got a couple beers in you, you are pretty comfortable. You're relaxed. Are you really going to stutter if you're comfortable? No. As anxiety goes down, stuttering also goes down at the same time. How do you get comfortable before going to a job interview? Just like anyone else, you have to practice questions and answers over and over again. However, if you stutter, that practicing serves a dual purpose. When you practice questions and answers, don't do it in your head. You have to actually speak. You have to feel how the words behave and interact with each other in your oral cavity. That is the only way that you are going to figure out what words do I get stuck on and then what words can I use that are synonymous to the word I get stuck on that I don't get stuck on. So you're talking, 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 and you get stuck on a word, right? Find a different word that means the same thing that you don't get stuck on and just replace it. Have you ever played the game Taboo? I have. I'm very good at that game. Why? Because I'm a human thesaurus. I stutter. In order to communicate effectively, I have to be able to replace words I get stuck on with words I don't. That took 10 years worth of practice. So it won't happen in a day, but at least you get in the habit of practicing. The other reason why you want to actually speak when you practice doing questions and answers on your own, you have to figure out what your own speech pattern is. Everyone has a speech pattern. Think about this. Donald Trump has a speech pattern. He speaks in very short, choppy phrases and he repeats them. Barack Obama, he speaks as if he's a pastor and he takes long pauses. When I speak, I kind of speak like Donald Trump. I speak in short, 
choppy phrases. That is the only way I can communicate effectively and convey a thought or an idea or whatever I'm trying to talk to you about. What do you do if you are in an interview and you are giving an Oscar winning performance? God and Jesus are salivating at the answers that you are giving. Everybody in that room is picking up what you are putting down. And then it happens. You start to stutter on one word, two words, three words, and everyone's staring at you. And you can feel the eyes burning into your head. What do you do? Oh my God, the world is over. I'm not going to get the job. I'm going to be poor, broke, and hungry, and desperate. I'm going to be on the streets. Everyone thinks I'm a failure. What do I do? Oh my God. Stop. Breathe. Relax. It's only a problem if you treat it as a problem. When I am in an interview and I am giving the best answer that God and Jesus has ever heard and everybody in that room is going, yeah. I'm gonna hire that guy. And I'm talking, 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 talking. And I stutter on the first word, second word, third word. And I feel all the eyes on me. I don't even care. I stutter, I stop, I breathe, and I keep going. Like I said, stuttering is only a problem in a job interview if you treat it as a problem. I don't care. I will keep talking until I tell you everything I have wanted to tell you. That shows one very powerful thing. It tells employers, yes, I stutter. However, I am still 100% functional. I can get the job done. You, employer, don't have anything to worry about. Or if you plan on starting your own business, you the client, I stutter, but I can still get the job done. You don't have a thing to worry about. I am the poster child of I don't care. If you don't care, employer doesn't care. All the employer cares about is, can you do the job? Can you do it effectively? And are you good at it? That's basically it. I'm going to tell you about how I use stuttering to my own advantage. Here's what happened. There I was at the Pepsi interview in Atlanta, Georgia with the Southern Regional Vice President of Pepsi. And I am in there and I'm talking to him. He's asking me questions. I'm giving him the most beautiful answers he has ever heard. And then I start to stutter. And he said, stop. Do you stutter? And I said, yeah, I do. Like I was saying, and then I kept going. And he's like, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. And I go, but I'm not done. I want to I wanna finish. And he says, hang on. I have a brother that also st st stutters. And then for the rest of the interview, all he did was talk about stuttering. I told him how I started stuttering how I was at a point where I couldn't get the words out. And then at some point, I was about 13 years old, I started practicing how to speak again. Between 10 and 13, I taught, not 10, 13, between 13 and 23, 
I taught myself how to speak all over again. And I told them about everything I had to go through, all the practice runs I did. How I started figuring out what words I can use, what words I can't. How I figured out how, that I have to speak on a beat and a rhythm and control breathing. And by the time I was done, I told him how I started stuttering and how I overcame it. And he said, guess what? I like you. You are exactly the kind of person I want to hire. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I wasn't done telling you the other answer. And he says, no, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. You reckon... Mm, 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 you understood that you have a problem. You figured out what that problem is. And then you found a way to overcome that problem. It, yeah. Even though it took you 10 years to figure out how to overcome it, you still figured out how to fix it. That is exactly the kind of person I would want to hire and bring onto my team. You're the type of person that doesn't quit. Even if things get hard, I can tell you don't quit. You keep going. And I got forwarded to the final interview. And you're probably wondering, did you get the job? No, I did. <laughs> it's um, yeah, it's kind of funny. I wasn't hired for the job. And that's okay because after I think three weeks, I got a call from Homeland Security giving me the final offer of employment. So I use stuttering to my advantage. Even though I didn't get that job, I still proved to a person, hey, I stutter and it's okay. You don't have any concerns. I didn't get that job, but I got a different job and everything worked out beautifully. So, if you stutter, just practice speaking over and over again. Even if you don't want to practice in front of other people, in fact, don't practice in front of other people. I practice in the car, in the bathroom. On the train going to work. In fact, I practice all the time. I walk around and I talk to myself all the time. I don't care if people think I'm crazy. Like I told you, I'm the poster child of I don't care. If I have a problem, I'm going to find it, I'm going to fix it, and I'm going to keep going. If you stutter, find your problem, fix it, and keep going. So, that's all I have. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoy the content, hit subscribe. It helps out the channel and helps out the YouTube algorithm. If you think this video will help other people, please tell them about it. And until the until the subsequent episode. Peace out!